Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the Vermi bag for the Mini and the Max update. This is the Mini. And if you recall last week, we fed right here in the middle. And looks like they are still working on it and they are going to town. just nothing but worms all throughout here. That's fantastic. I know there was still a sweet potato in here, so I want to find that for sure, if I can, because last week that gave us a really awesome worm ball. Besides the springtails, this could not look better. I think this was our sweet potato. And they've completely worked their way in. And it's just a solid mass of worms loading down the skin. They don't even want to come off of it. They're very happy in there. So they're still working on it and they still have... A good amount of food so I, I'm not sure that I'm gonna feed them today I'm probably just gonna let them go the moisture actually feels really good in here and they still do have a little bit of blended food so I'll probably just put this cover back on here that I've been using um, which is just some glossy printed newspaper that I lay across the top it helps hold this moisture in a little bit so that it doesn't dry out too too much so I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of dry mix. Just for good measure, and then we will top it off and we'll go over and take a peek at the Vermi Bag Max. Okay guys, so I'm here with the Vermi Bag Max. Um, if you recall, we had some flies last week. So I covered it really well. We moistened it down a bit. I wanted to see how they're getting along. I don't see a ton of flies coming out, so hopefully that means the numbers have somewhat dwindled on us. All right, let me take this out for a second so we can take a peek and see what's going on in here. I'm eager to see how the sweet potatoes are coming now that we were able to bury them up really well. And speaking of, still has a ways to go, but they are all over it. So they're definitely trying to work their way in. So I'm gonna keep this down low because we want it to stay nice and moist and we added so much bedding last week which was needed to try to hold in the moisture and to get the worms back feeding and try to keep these flies out but the worms are kind of back up in the, the feeding zone here and they're looking good the moisture feels good in here as well is this another, another sweet potato? And they're still working on getting into this. There's a ton of bedding in here. I don't think this bin will need any additional bedding today at all. But you can see there's a good mix of the red wigglers as well as some of the European night crawlers in here. They're all kind of working working well together. 
but I honestly think last week we added some of that blended food and stuff, but I, I think that they probably still have enough food. And because I want to prevent um, any more fly issues, I think I will hold off on feeding this week. So I'm just going to bury everything that we have back up with the existing bedding we have in here. But everything feels good. I'm going to moisten the top down. I will put a little bit of my dry mix up here and we will leave these systems for another week. So let me know what you think. Drop those comments below, like this video, subscribe if you'd like some more content from me. I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update.